Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Khan. Welcome to Fertile Minds. Today we're going to be talking about how long will I remain fertile for? This is a very important question and a question that many of my patients ask me, so I'm very happy to address this topic. The situation is this, you are about 32 years old um, and you've been offered the opportunity to go overseas to climb the corporate ladder. So the question you ask is, you know, do I go overseas, come back when I'm 42 and then start planning for a family? Or do I not take up that opportunity and start the family now and hope that, you know, when I come back in three, four years time after I had my first child, I can continue to climb the corporate ladder. So we'll be talking about a situation like that. First thing to say, and the most important thing to say is that age, the age of the woman is the most important thing that determines fertility. So whether, you know, age more than how young she looks in terms of gen also genetics, like even if she had an aunt that had her fifth child at 44 years of age, um, how fit she is, all that pales by comparison compared to the age. Age is important for two things. The first is the number of eggs left in the ovaries, okay? So a woman is born with a fixed number of eggs. In fact, in fact, the maximum, the peak number of eggs is actually when she's in her mother's womb at seven weeks gestation. That's when it's at seven million. When she's born, that number drops from seven million to two million, so a drastic drop. And then from the time she's born to when she starts to ovulate, what we call monarchy, when she starts to have her first period, the number of eggs left in the ovaries is about 250,000. So there's a big drop. Every month you're losing hundreds of eggs in that situation. Once you start to um, ovulate, now although you only ovulate one egg every month, each month you're still losing a few hundred eggs. And so that by the time you reach menopause, which is um, when you stop having periods at the age, average age of 51, you have zero eggs. So what I'm saying is that that number of, of eggs just keeps decreasing. And the rate of drop, although it's um, pretty much average for most women, in some women, that rate of drop is drastically um, uh, even worse. So let's say um, in women with premature ovarian failure, either due to um, drugs that she was taking like chemotherapy drugs, radiotherapy drugs, or she had some operations on her uh, ovaries, um, that will mean that that rate of drop is so drastic that she may even run out of age before 40 years of age, what we call premature ovarian failure. It's not all gloom and doom because we do have a blood test that can tell us the number of eggs left in the ovary. That test you may have heard of is called the anti-Mullerian hormone. The good thing about this test compared to a test that we had before is that number one, it is much more accurate and much more reliable. It can also be taken at any time in your cycle, okay, before food, after food. Basically, you just go to your GP and all your fertility specialists, they write you a referral form. You go to one of our IVF Australia laboratories they do the blood test for you, and that takes about between one and two weeks, and you need to go back to your GP or your fertility specialist for the results, because the results are not so straightforward. It's not just about a value. Remember that that normal AMH value keeps dropping as you get older, so you really need to look at that value in terms of your age. The other thing about age is that not only does it determine the number of eggs, it also determines the quality of the eggs. Okay, so sure, um, you know, you're 40 years old um, and the AMH value is very good. That just means that the number of eggs is very good, in fact, in your favor, even though you're 40 years of age. But what doesn't change is that we know that the quality of the eggs decreases as you get older. The best eggs, the eggs with the least genetic abnormalities are released when you're younger, in your 20s, in your early 30s. And as you get older, 
what's left is although you're still ovulating the quality of those eggs the genetically normal eggs are less so that you know you have more problems in terms of when you release those eggs because the eggs are not so good fertilization doesn't take place so often and even if fertilization takes place and you get pregnant you are more likely to miscarry that is one of the reasons why um, in the old days we used to do they test like amniocentesis um, to check for the chromosome uh, of the babies once a woman it gets pregnant after the age of 37 because the older you get the higher chance you will have a down syndrome baby so the not so good news is that we don't have a test like amh to determine the quality of the eggs all we can tell all we can say is you know you either start your family as early as possible or you do things that try and um, hopefully keep up the quality. There's not a lot you can do, but certainly, um, you know, stop smoking, drink less, make sure you exercise more, keep an eye on your weight. Those sort of things can also help in terms of the quality of eggs. I guess the really the only thing you can think about doing if you, let's say um, you're not in a situation where you can start the family or you don't want to start a family because you are in that corporate ladder you want to climb it first is consider freezing your eggs okay so freezing eggs is a good thing because let's say you come to us at 30 32 years of age we give you daily injections for about 10 days put you to sleep for 20 minutes and then we collect all the eggs the injection increases the number of eggs and say we get 10 to 15 eggs and then we freeze it so you are 30 to 32 years of age but then you come back 10 years later and you said okay I'm now try uh, with my partner for you know a year two years I can't get pregnant and my doctor thinks it's due to the quality of the eggs because of my age but we have these frozen eggs and the chance of getting pregnant with these frozen eggs is related to the age when you froze the age uh, the eggs not when you're going to get pregnant at the age of 42 so that's good news and and better news is if you have a partner at the time it's actually better to fertilize those eggs and create the embryos and freeze the embryos instead of the eggs because frozen embryo pregnancy rates are much higher than frozen egg pregnancy rates okay that's all i have for you so if you've got uh, any questions at all please fill in the comment section and i'll try to answer you and if you want to hear on any other topics in terms of fertility please press the subscribe button thank you very much